if we talk about how leadership has changed from the past to now, people are realizing and companies are realizing that if they don't spend money on treating people right, people will go somewhere else. But it sounds like some kind of great mystery and some kind of great uh, revelation that you should treat people nicely and that you should uh, do the right thing by people and, and treat your staff well. There's nothing new about it. I mean, people have been managing people for all the time. It's just that during the Industrial Revolution, we had an amazing change on how we viewed people and companies and organizations. Um, there was a huge rise in industrialization, manufacturing, globalization, automation, and people just became cogs in the wheel. And so you had managers that were more like slave drivers or someone controlling machines. Whereas, as we know, humans are a lot more fragile and a lot more uh, dependent on emotional needs. And so now that the industry has changed, and now that we really value the importance of people, primarily due, due to the type of jobs that have changed. So we now have machinery and we have manufacturing taking care of most of the menial labor, whereas in the past, in order to make the bullets that were sustaining the war machine or all the different foods and all the rest of it that were being automated in a production line, they've realized machines can do that. And now they need humans to be more robust, to be able to make decisions, to be able to make intelligent choices. And that's why we have the birth of emotional intelligence and an emotionally intelligent leader. But it's not rocket science and it's not something that just uh, blows my mind every time I hear about we need to be nice to people and the people that are below us, we need to treat them with respect. This has happened throughout existence. Leaders will not remain in the seat of power have, if they cannot be persuasive, if they cannot win the support of the people under them. They have to be persuasive, they have to be human, and they have to be able to relate to humankind. Most importantly, you have to connect to the soul of each individual. With capitalism, with uh, the dependency caused by um, the Great Depression, people needed to work. And so companies were in the position where they could dictate terms as they did in China um, during, during times previously, where they had uh, people that were not earning so much money and they had to do everything the bosses, bosses had to say. And so people were changed in that way and managers had a lot more say. Now we have a lot more freedom, we have a lot more comfort and we are spoiled for choice. So now we prefer going to a company where the leader treats you like a human being. So it's not revolutionary that we treat people like human beings. It's something that was always done. And because of the damage that was done um, during the Industrial Revolution, we're now starting to understand why being an effective leader means connecting with your people.